Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unity Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, I am going to show you how to enable and disable eye case as the character moves. So when the character moves, the eye case is not working. So the animations look fine. It doesn't look like dragging foot on the on the ground. But only when the character is still, the IK will be active like this. So yeah, that's the part I am going to do today. Okay, so now we have our character with IKs, but uh, when he walk, it looks fine. What happened to the eye case? I did implement it. Oh, it seems I have disabled it. Yeah, okay. I remember now. Okay, now it should work back like normal. Like the last time. Okay, so yeah. This is the issue. So when even when the character is walking, she, he kind of drags his foot along the ground so we need to disable that so to do that let me open the IK script here yeah. so yeah I need to disable IKs when the character is walking so how can I do that? So actually I, what I have to do is I change in this weight. So I'll define another variable private float ik weight and the default value would be zero. and in the update so now i need a reference to character moment no yeah character moment because i need to access velocity what's the best way to do that i'll define another public variable character moment I'll call it character moment and yeah I, I have to make sure that I have a valid reference here otherwise I would have an error so let me set the reference like this Okay, and now in the update, I'll set IK weight equals math. Um, oh, no, first I need to take if character moment dot velocity dot magnitude is larger than maybe 0.1 if it is larger than 0.1 I should set I gave it equals I think it would be better if I make the first I simple because I don't like to start variables with the capital letter let's make it all simple because we have a underscore anyway okay um equals math dot lerp float a is ik weight and 
I need to do the change like this and B is 1 sorry 0 and T I'll do time dot delta time else I have to do the same this time I gave it should go to 1 all right now let's see what happens not quite right maybe yeah maybe I'll just put zero instead of zero point one and I'll print debug log I can wait so that I can see how it changes oh and also I have to use I can wait here Instead of one, let's get rid of this debug log because I don't need it now. this uh, local position change as well that means this one ah, I should be able to fix it by multiplying this with I K weight so it will slowly go back to the normal weight and maybe I should increase the speed of the change with the multiply but before that let's check again how it looks after using IK weight for the yeah the change is too slow So I'll add another public parameter. No, I think private would be okay. Private float. I K. No, let's just call it labs p. I'll use ten as the default value. That's better. Now 
let's uh, change this instead of using zero let's try something like point one Alright, this is better and I'll stop this episode at this point so I'll yeah I have released uh, uh, project project files as of episode 27 so I'll do another release with this episode soon and yeah thank you for watching if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.